Hi guys, so today's video is going to be on my 10 top tips before you get a Dago video. This video was actually supposed to be uploaded way back in December, but I just got really busy with Christmas, birthdays, projects, and exams from high school that I just didn't have the time to film and upload it. But I'm all done with that now, so let's get right into this video. Tip number one, Dago's aren't that well known. So they may be sort of rare to find in your area, meaning that you may have to travel a couple hours to a nearby city to actually get Daegu's. Tip number two, Daegu's can actually be illegal in your area if it's hard for you to find them. So um, if you live in the States, in Georgia, California, or Alaska, they are actually illegal. In Canada, they are illegal in Newfoundland and Labrador, and they are also illegal in New Zealand. Tip number three, Daegu's are a huge commitment. On average, they live to be six to eight years old, sometimes even longer than that, which is the average length of a guinea pig's age, and which is also a lot longer than a hamster. So you just need to be prepared to care for them for their entire life. Tip number four, you actually need to have some money on hand to actually care for Daegu's properly so that you could buy them a proper large cage, buy them some food, buy them some toys, and even any vet bills that may arise. Tip number five, Daegu's are social creatures. Just like many other small pets, they thrive best in pairs or groups. But if you have a group, you need to have the space and money to accommodate them. Being in a pair or a group benefits their lives because they are able to communicate with them and are able to interact uh, with them throughout their whole entire life, which even if you are there for them, you are not there every single minute Tip number of six. the day. Degus need a large cage. They are very active creatures that love to run around and a large cage is the best way to provide this for them. So I'll actually insert a few pictures of some examples of cages you could either buy or even make out of safe wood for your Daegu. Tip number seven. Daegu's require a very balanced, precise diet. They need uh, to eat seeds along with pellets and timothy hay. So the pellets, you could feed them regular guinea pig pellets, although they need to be without molasses. So here is a quick little um, view of what I feed. A Daegu's diet also consists of eating veggies. They cannot eat fruit though because they cannot uh, process the sugars in the fruits. So along with that, you cannot give them sugary treats. Tip number eight is that Daegu's require a lot of exercise. So in their cage, you need to provide them with a running wheel of 12 inch diameter and also the running room of their large cage. They also um, benefit from having time out of their cage, either in a store-bought playpen type grid or even like on your floor in a safe room without any cables or places for them to get stuck. Tip number nine, before you get Daegu's, be sure there is a small animal vet that treats and is familiar with Daegu's and other similar animals so that if a problem arises and it's an emergency, you're not looking through phone books and like on the internet trying to contact a vet that will treat them. Tip number 10 is try to adopt when possible. I know this may not be as simple as I am saying it, but when there is a possibility um, to adopt from a local shelter, do the best you can to try and adopt or even go on those buy and sell pages on the internet and look for Daegu's on those that people need to rehome for a reason or another. Thanks for watching guys. 
please comment, rate, and subscribe. And give this video a thumbs up. And stay tuned for more videos. Bye!